So I want to ask whether Maulana Asad National Fellowship is, was stopped because of the name? Was it stopped because of the name Maulana Azad? Because it is in the name of Maulana Azad? Every day we wake up, we suddenly see this road name changed, this city name changed, this town name changed. My suggestion is next time in the BJP manifesto, give one particular list and say that when we come to power, every day, every week, we will change names. J.V. Mathir, J.V. Mathir, Miss J.V. Mathir. Thank you, sir, for the opportunity. Sir, I am an Indian first and I am an Indian last. I can keep my hand on my heart and say that I am an Indian first and I am an Indian last. I hope Rakesh Sinha ji would agree with me that all of us present here can actually say that we are an Indian first and we are an Indian last. He's agreeing, sir. I'm deeply obliged. Sir, when, when it is the case that when we are an Indian first and when we are an Indian last, if a community a minority community, whether it's Muslims, Sikh, Parsi, Jain, or any other community. If any community belong to a weaker section, for many years, if they are undergoing the biggest traumas, if they do not get the best of education, the best of health, the best of livelihood or lifestyle, if they do not have such facilities, they are also Indian, sir. Why don't we have a broad-mindedness to consider that when, because they are minority, because they are backward, if an effort is taken to give them that special benefit, should we not be happy that being an Indian first and Indian last, that we are doing something great? So my hope and my dream is that of an India where if a girl wants to wear a hijab, if an Indian girl wants to wear a hijab and go to moon, she wants to go to moon, we sure all should stand for that. If an Indian girl wants to wear a bindi and dream of going to the moon, then we all should stand by that. Yes. If a Christian girl wants to wear a cross and go dream of going to the moon, we all should stand by that. Why is it that we, instead of encouraging everyone, we always create intolerance? Sir, I want to specifically speak on Maulana Azad National Fellowship. Many of them spoke. When was it brought? It was brought in 2009, pursuant to Sachar Commission report. Who brought it? UPA brought it. Why UPA brought it? Because UPA believed that we should take everyone along. UPA believed in an inclusive India UPA believed that every step should be taken to bring all those who are backward to come to the forefront. And now the government in the December 2022 come up with a vague reason and says Maulana Azad National Fellowship is stopped. And what is the reason, sir? Reason they say, oh, there is overlapping. Same names are being repeated or one person may get another, same person may get multiple scholarship. So one scholarship from Maulana Asad Fellowship, another scholarship. Sir, how can a union government come up with such a silly, irrelevant, vague reason, sir? Are we not degrading ourselves by saying 
this union government do not have the systems in place to find out whether a one person is alleging getting the benefit repeatedly in different names are we living in stone age sir right is union government still following some stone age uh, acts or systems don't we have the system to find out if one person is getting the benefit or not multiple benefit or not so if if that is the kind of reason given so i want to ask whether maulana azad national fellowship is was stopped because of the name was it stopped because of the name maulana azad because it is in the name of maulana azad because here what we see generally bjp gave lot of vaade lot of promises for coming to power every day we wake up we suddenly see this road name changed this city name changed this town name changed my suggestion is next time in the bjp manifesto give one particular list and say that when we come to power every day every week we will change names <coughs> so here the issue is when a community is backward give them the benefit what is due to them let us all embrace brotherhood sir rakesh sinha ji speech i was listening maine rakesh sinha ji se bahar bhi kaha hu now i want to say it in the house sir rakesh sinha ji hum sab subah morning we drink tea coffee breakfast lunch dinner lekin rakesh sinha ji subah chai ke paas saath bhi intolerance peete hain lunch ke saath bhi intolerance ek cup peete hain sham ko bhi intolerance peete hain sir he he aap unka naam lenge to he has right to speak again so yes. please please sir i am very broad minded sir he speak on sir, the subject sir i am very broad minded i request that you speak sir, on the subject sir not just sir you speak on the subject sir not just please. Nee, nee, this is my subject yes, because sir. there should not be intolerance subject is your rakesh sinha sir this, 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 this is all subject, subject. Please. not in the morning in the afternoon in the night you look at all the tables there's only one glass on this entire house that is on rakesh sinha ji's table because while speaking he was drinking intolerance then also <laughs> so what we take in we give it out so maine kasam khai hai bahar ab house mein bhi i may be the junior when you look at all the treasury benches i may be the junior most compared to the seniors out there but i have kasam ka i have taken a solemn promise that this intolerance will have to stop and we will do everything possible to make this intolerance of all rakesh sinha ji erase and make this a better place so that is my Uh, the main thing main thing which i always wanted to share to please please no cross talking please please you have always committing on everybody please i request you personally please sir yes. so this sachar commission report when there is a backward committee when there is minority who are poor who are not getting the benefit give them don't uh, deny them the benefits so that's my humble submission and i want to generally not just to rakesh sinha ji but i want to tell to everyone also nafrat ke bazar mein mohabbat ki dukaan khulna chahiye oh. <laughs> sir i want to conclude by saying by one more thing rakesh sinha ji said about wc banerji and congress party let me make it very clear this lifetime this lifetime is not enough to understand congress party's contributions to this country to the building of this nation to freedom struggle from wc banerji to mallikarjun kharge ji so that this lifetime is not enough for him to understand that but this is a this is a forum where we have to speak for everyone i represent every indian i want to again say that give them the benefit which is due to them uh thank you very much sir for the opportunity thank you jevi mathher ji